Hi there. Hopefully in the last video, you got to hear the story Uncle Andy's Cats by James Warhol and his experience visiting his uncle Andy Warhol and all of the cats. So today, I thought it would be very fun if we drew our own Andy Warhol inspired cats. This is him and Bubba making all of these cats famous and drawing all these different pictures from the book. Today, to draw your cat, all you will need is a Sharpie, some watercolors, obviously a watercolor brush, and something to hold your water in. Perfect. You will also need a piece of watercolor paper, something maybe a little heavyweight, and attached is the PDF or a worksheet of one of Andy Warhol's cats. And I'll have a few that you can choose from so that they can all look a little different. Or you can maybe try out a few if you like. And this is our finished project, and this is what it is gonna look like. Let's get started. Okay, everybody. Hopefully you have your PDF of Andy Warhol's Sam's, his many cats, after we read Uncle Andy's Cats by James Warhol. That fun story. So now we will paint the cats. So you're just gonna get a little bit of water and you can choose whatever color you want. I'm gonna do blue. I really like the way this looks. And then you're just gonna start off with that background shape. And you can just, it's kind of just like a, a really organic circle coming in and out. Remember, the more water you use, the softer your paints will be. And this is dry on wet here, I'm going over this. Let's see, there we go. Just getting that circle shape in the back. Now we wanna add the tail. So just coming just down here with the tail. And we wanna make it a little thicker, making sure to add those lines. And look how beautiful this watercolor is. And you just wanna kind of let the watercolor do whatever it wants. You wanna, if it pools up there, that's all right. It's got the beauty of the watercolor. Remember, with watercolor, you wanna do about 80% water, and 20% paint. You really want to let that water do its magic and get all those beautiful colors in there. All right, maybe a little thicker there at the base. All right, now we can do the darker head, just in the middle here, kind of just the shape of a head, just like Sam here. Remember all the Sams, all those cats were named Sam. So cute. Get these little ears here, ears here. And you're gonna be going over this with Sharpie, so don't worry too much. Oops, and we forgot the little tiny feet. So then we wanna come here just with the little feet. And we'll let this dry before we add the fun Sharpie marks. So just set your brush off to the side. And this one has got a chance to dry. So I will put this one over here. And if you're in classroom, remember to put it in the drying rack. All right, this one's all nice and dry. So then you can get your Sharpie to add all this fun texture, all these beautiful marks. So we'll just kind of start off on the edge here, going all on the outside, just like this. Line went all the way around. And we can do the ears. And you know, remember just to hold your Sharpie lightly or your marker, making fun little marks. It doesn't have to be one straight. You kind of just lightly make those marks. Coming with all the texture and fur for the ears here, giving it that interest. And come here, we'll start with the eyes. So we want to get this ellipse shape for the eyes. Remember an ellipse shape is like a football. Eyes are just like this. Same with the cat's eyes. Then we'll do the centers here, the irises, and then there we go, just 
like that. Really making it look a lot more like Andy Warhol's cat now. Come down with this bridge of the nose here, just like this. A few little marks for the hair again. Some more marks for the hair here. And you're just adding all those little tufts of hair just to give it that realistic look. And then the little nose, kind of just doing it like that. And we'll come up with the kitty in the mouth. Comes down from the center of the nose, just like that. What are we missing? We're missing some little dots, all in different rows for where the whiskers grow out. And then we just come out for the, oops, out for those whiskers, oops. Probably dried a little bit more, but that's all right. Go right back over it, just like that. Okay, you can always add more marks if you want. We'll go over for the little feet, just outlining all of your watercolor there. Okay, let's add some more fur here. Fur here. All these little, like almost just squiggles. You could even do like some little hashtag marks if you wanted. All of this to give the look of fur and that great texture. You could even add little claws if you want to the little feet. Last but not least, the tail coming all around the outside. Adding, what kind of kitty is this? He's like a little tabby cat, so we want to get those stripes to come all the way across here. All the little stripes of fur. There we are. I think it's almost done. Add any little thing else that you want to make him with a little more expression, any other little lines if you want. You could give him little eyelashes if you want. And then right here at the bottom, since we have all this space, I think it would be really neat. You can just sign your name down here. This is Mossy, just like that. All right, everybody. I think our cat is done. Thank you so much. See you next time.